What is going on guys, Shrey here from Shrey's Tech Tips. So if you have an iDevice, you're eventually going to run out of space with all the pictures, videos, apps, and all the other stuff that you have on your phone. But a chunk of that stuff is taken up by app cache. Now yes, cache can help speed up your device because lots of things are preloaded, but in a lot of cases, there's a lot of app cache that you probably don't need and it's harming the amount of space that you can use on your device. And the problem is that if you download any apps that are supposed to clean up junk on your phone, they're limited to how much they can clean up because of Apple's sandboxing. Apple sandboxes apps out into a certain area so they can't extend further out from that and reach into other parts of other apps. And that's where a desktop based application comes into play. A desktop app will have full access since you've trusted the computer that you're using to have full access to that phone. And that means you can scan everything and look at everything and delete a lot of drunk data. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before I get started, I'm doing a Q&A soon, so leave your comments down below and ask me a bunch of questions with the hashtag AskShrey. I'm really pumped to do this and I really want you guys to get to know me, so please leave your questions down below. So the software that I'm testing today was sent out by iMyPhone free of charge, but that doesn't change my opinion on it. I'll be testing it in front of you and you'll see with your own eyes if it works or not. So let me quickly launch the iMyPhone software. So as you can see here, it's opening up on my laptop and here it is. So it's asking me to connect the device and here I have connected my iPhone 6. So I can just plug it in and boom, there it is. It's plugged in and now I can just go ahead and open it and I'll show you how much space I have on my iPhone. Okay, so here as you can see on the screen, I have my iPhone screen sharing. And if I go to about, you could tell that I have 20.33 gigs available right now. So now I'm gonna go back to the iMyPhone software and click quick scan so it can look at all the files on my device and see what can be cleaned up. Okay, so here I'll click quick scan and it'll start scanning my phone to see what files can be cleaned up. So guys, I am back and as you can see on the screen, it's showing me five types of files. Junk files, temporary files, photos, large files, and apps. The last three we don't need to worry about because those are the things you want to keep. It's your precious data that you want to share with other people and use on a daily basis. But the top two aren't as important. Now yes, junk files is only eight megabytes but the temporary files is 372. So that's what I'm going to clean to get the most space possible back. Okay, so here I'm going to quickly click clean and as you can see it's showing me about how much time is remaining and I'll let it go and do its thing and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so I am back and as you can see on the screen it's showing it's clean 69.67 megabytes of space. Now that's not a lot, but let's go to our iPhone and see how much it's actually cleaned. So I'm gonna quickly hit done and go and share my screen again on to the computer. So here you can see, let me go back and go back to about. You can see I have 21.38 gigabytes of space remaining. Now, you can see up here how much space I had before and now I have this much. So we've saved a total of this much space, which means this program actually works. So is this a viable solution to clean up files? In my opinion, it's probably not because it takes quite some time and it didn't clean up a considerable amount of space. So I think you can stick to cleaning apps on the app store until this program can clean up more space. So overall, I think this app really isn't worth it if you're looking for something that will clean up your device's junk files. I think you can just stick to apps like the ones I've talked about before on the channel, and those will do the job quite well. Now, this program also offers another feature in which you can erase all the data on your phone, all private data as you can see here on the screen, but I don't think how well that actually works. So you can just go to reset on your device and click erase all content and settings and you'll be good to go. So no, I don't recommend this software. It does a little bit of work, but if you wanna try it out, go to the link down below and you can get a trial 
to see if it's actually worth the money for you or not. I hope you enjoyed this video on this cleaning software. Now if you want more videos that are kind of like tutorials where I teach you how to do stuff and that help you out, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when I make those videos. And also don't forget to leave your comments down below for the Q&A that I'll be doing soon with the hashtag Ask Shrey. Anyways, this was Shrey here from Shrey's Tech Tips. Have a great day.